The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. We're going to talk about growth and income here, at least as it pertains to one company that our growth and income strategist, Todd Bunton, wants to call to your attention. He's here with me right now. Uh, Lyondell Basel Industries, or Basel Industries, LYB the ticker at yeah. any rate. This is a plastics chemical company, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and they make a lot of different sort of products. So ethylene, polyethylene, propylene, a lot of different chemical sounding names. Yeah. Uh, but they're, they're really a large player in that field. They, they haven't been around that long, at least as a publicly traded company, but almost a $50 billion market cap. Mm. So, so a big company, and, and they, they pay a very solid dividend, which I'll talk about in a minute. But th this is an interesting company because if, if you take a look at, at the price chart, they sold off heavily along with oil prices mm. uh, during you know, Q4 and, and Q1 of this year. And the reason for that is a lot of their products are highly correlated to oil prices. Petroleum-based. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, so as oil prices fell, their product prices fell. But what investors didn't realize, and, and what the company, this is why the company delivered a huge surprise for the first quarter, is that their profit margins actually expanded because a lot of their input costs are, uh, are based on natural gas prices, which also fell. I so see. even though the price of their products fell, their profit margin expanded tremendously, which led to a huge earnings beat for the first quarter. Wow. You can think about it as, as a gas station. Uh, gas you know, gas prices fell as oil prices fell, but their profit margins are actually expanding because their input costs declined more than the price decline. Mm. So wider profit margins, that's a good thing for investors. Sure. And the company delivered a huge beat back in late April. That prompted analysts to revise their estimates significantly higher for both 2015 and 2016, which you can see here. I have with me the agreement and magnitude of consensus estimates for Lyondell Bazell over the next two years. And you can see Nice increases. Um, analysts unanimously raise, have, have unanimously raised their estimates over the last two months, and the magnitude of those increases are very significant. And that's enough to send it to a Zach's rank of one, which is a strong buy rating. So very good earnings momentum here, and, and very decent growth projected over the next couple years. And all, along with that, you're getting a very good income. Uh, they yeah, what dividend. is that dividend? They pay a dividend that yields about 3.1%. Wow. And the company's been aggressively increasing that dividend. And not only that, but they've been buying back a ton of stock. So the company, just last quarter alone, they generated over a billion dollars in, in operating cash flow. And they, they spent something on the, on the order of, uh, you know, one, over a billion dollars buying back its own stock. Yeah. Which, which helps boost EPS, of course, too. So very shareholder-friendly company in that regard. You're also getting the dividend, like I said. Uh, you've, got the, you've got the earnings momentum, and you've also got a reasonable price. They traded just 10 times forward earnings. Mm -hmm. So the stock has rebounded since that Q1 beat, but it's still not back uh, near its 52-week high yet, um, given that, that big drop that it experienced uh, late in 2014 and early 2015. So it could be a good buying opportunity uh, for, for shareholders over the next, say, six months. This could be a good total return potential. I, I brought with me some of its competitors, Dow, DuPont, some of the, some of the bigger chem chemical companies. You can see they also pay decent dividends. They also, some of them have pretty good uh, earnings momentum, as, as uh, shown by the Zach's rank. And, but none of them really trade at that price as uh, Lionel Bazell. So this could be a good total return name in that chemical space over the next six months. So what you're saying, bottom line, is that it has more room to run. I think so. Okay. For sure. Do you own it? I do not. All right. Check out more stock picks, stock picking strategies, stock commentary, and other information of an assorted sort on our website, zax.com. If you're not there already watching this video, get on over. You can link to it right off the home page. If you happen to be watching this video on YouTube, don't forget, you can subscribe to our videos via YouTube. You can also leave a comment if you want, so you might want to check that out. With Todd, I'm Terry Ruffalo.